Right. Yeah, you got to have a man to teach a man. And that's the right. thing with my uncle. So my uncle only had the one child, and, it, and then he took me as, right. a, as a second child, and I took more to what he did. So he's a, you know, he's an entrepreneur. He does housing and construction work and build cars and sell cars. But a lot of stuff he tell me just work with what I got. So where did your dad go? Was what? Where did your dad go? Oh, he just left. Eight? He just, you know, I guess he was weak or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just know I'm not going to do that, go that route. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. doing, I got five kids myself and I take care of my children. Did he? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Okay, that's cool. Man, so, you, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, 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 no. You go because you seem like you're on a roll over there. <laughs> I just know when I get him, I'm going to have him. You know, you are, so you better get it on done. So I know you're, I, I know you're um, you're, um, one of your parents was a teacher and one was a chef. Yeah. So I can imagine all the type of meals that you get growing up. Yeah, so at, in the beginning, so my father was around until I was about eight years old. Mm -hmm. And then from there, he left and my uncle took over. So about, I learned some of the stuff with the chef and all the stuff that he did, but then he was gone. So my, my uncle Buggy, who raised me doing the cars and the mechanic stuff and discipline and all that kind of stuff, self-motivation is what I learned from him. I love the fact you still had a male role model in your life because a oh, lot yeah. of a lot of boys, mm -hmm. when their fathers step out, they are missing that, and the mother yeah. normally try to step in and be that father figure. But sometimes mm -hmm. it, you can't really always have a female nah. teaching a man how to be a man nah. Oh, nah. it's you hard gotta, yeah you gotta have a man to teach a man and that's the right. thing with my uncle so my uncle only had the one child and, it, and then he took me right. as, a, as a second child and I took more to what he did so he's a you know he's an entrepreneur he does housing and construction work and build cars and sell cars but a lot of stuff he tell me just work with what I got so where did your dad go was what? Where did your dad go? Oh, he just left. Eight? He just, you know, I guess he was weak or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just know I'm not going to do that, go that route. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. doing, I got five kids myself and I take care of my children. Did he ever come back around at nah, all? Nah, I talk to him every now and then. But, oh, you know, so he, but, yeah, he just. Too he much pressure. Said, yeah, he couldn't handle it. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? So that's why I said my uncle took a lot and he showed me what to do and mm -hmm. we, he made I, it happen. I think that'd be God, man. God make things happen a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, y'all yeah. could probably were better at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the way I look at it, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The uncle, right? My uncle. My mm. uncle took me from my daddy. And yeah. I know lie and kept me, didn't he? You yeah. hear that story all the time. Oh, yeah. Because they, they got into it over We him. got into a fight, an yeah. uh, argument, me and my dad and my oh, uncle. Yeah. And I ended up with my uncle, man. Oh, I'm not the same, my, that's the same thing I had with my uncle. See, my uncle a third, three, a third degree black belt. He wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> so, like, my, my uncle Buggy, he, like, right now he's 70 years old, but he still can do 50 push ups. Ooh, no. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what what mean. Mean. yeah, yeah, yeah. He that's all the way in shape. Mean. But he wow. taught me discipline, structure, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Was he military or penitentiary background? It Which wasn't one? none of that. He just was karate, kung fu, Joe crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> Boy, man. But Bruce Lee, man, I sit down every Saturday, look at Lee, Bruce, well, Bruce, Bruce Lee. I grew up watching him all the yeah, time. Yeah, Bruce Lee, all the different karate movies. Yeah, all you, of, you can't just read. Like, yeah, you just got to read the words on the bottom yeah, screen. Yeah, they talk like this. What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> and then the new words come out. Nothing. <laughs> he'll slap fire at you. Know. You get he'll do something stupid. Oh, he was slap Oh, you go get in. Oh, man. Yeah, he could do that. So, so after you, after you, um, you were racing in those buggies and everything. When did you start to get into real cars? Well, by the age of about, about 16. So about 16 years old, I was working at a car wash called Happy Jays in Orangeburg, mm -hmm. South Carolina. And all the street boys just come through there with their Chevys and they clean cars and stuff like that. And they always call me young boy. They be like, young boy, come clean my car, young boy. You know what I'm saying? So like I was just a hustler. So I be like, well, them the boys with the money. So if I clean their car good, they would give me a good tip. Mm -hmm. So like I clean their car real good, you know what I mean? Make sure I shine it up real good. But I was always a, a engine junkie. So mm -hmm. I would always part the hood and look. So I'd be like, man, I got to clean the motor off for you real quick. <laughs> but I'd be looking to see what stuff they got on it. Then I have a notepad in my pocket, write down what parts they get, and then I get the magazines and read about it. And then I tell, talk to my uncle about it. But then I started getting that because I seen them have the clout and the girls and all that stuff mm -hmm. with their cars. Mm -hmm. So they like they would wear jewelry and stuff, but I would always see them pull up in the car, and they always had some nice-looking females with them. And that's what attracted me to that, that car to stuff. To the car yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when was the first time you actually built your own car? I started building my own car when I was about 17 years old. 17? Yeah. How long did it take you? It took me about, till I was about 21, about three, four years. Three, four? That's yeah. how long? So, like, now if you had to build a car, how long it takes you? 60 days. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.